Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Ashley. I make healthy lifestyle videos, beauty content, fashion content, travel content, all of that fun stuff, and I would love to have you join our little community here, so welcome. So if you are new to my channel, let me bring you up to speed. I am in the middle of documenting what's called my Schlee's Health Journey series, going through the weight loss component of my Optavia 5-in-1 program. And if you don't know what Optavia is, I'll go ahead and leave all of the information down in my description box below. Feel free to send questions my way. But the basics of the program is you consuming five fuelings a day that come in your monthly Optavia box and then one lean and green meal a day you prepare from home. All of your fuelings and your lean and greens are spaced out by two to three hour increments and that is what brings us into optimal weight during our optimal health phase. So welcome to another episode of my Schlee's Health Journey series. <laughs> So I feel like you kind of know what today's video is. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you guys already know that this is a tried and true lean and green recipe that I have been making from the start of my Optavia 5-in-1 journey. And I have preached this so many times on my channel before. If you guys, especially if you're just starting on your Optavia 5-in-1 plan, the best, most important thing to remember is keeping it simple. Keep your lean and green simple throughout the week. And then if you want to have fun here and there, you can like maybe once a week or on day night or in a celebration or something like that you can switch things up but keeping your lean and green simple and easy easy to remember easy to measure out all of those things are super super key for you to be able to see the best progress on your Optavia 5-in-1 plan and that's what we're gonna talk about today we're gonna do my tried and true Optavia 5-in-1 plan approved chicken veggie stir-fry and I know I've done this 10 zillion times on my channel before but I figured it is about time we have a designated video for it because I'm telling you, this is the simplest, most easy recipe that Zach and I did at the very beginning of our plan. I didn't hear of it done by anybody else and it was just something that was easy for us. We could stick to it and it was just simple. We could rely on it no matter what. It's just some chicken and some veggies. It's super easy for you to follow and super easy for you to whip up if you're ever just on the go or you're meal prepping or you just wanna have something easy that you can just throw in the pan and you don't have to worry about it. This is your recipe. And if you're trying to keep it simple on your Optavia 5-in-1 plan, Plan. Great work. You're doing a fabulous job. This is the perfect recipe for you to try. This is going to be my Optavia 5-in-1 plan approved chicken veggie stir fry. I'm going to show you guys how we make it today and I highly, highly recommend make this for the future. Make this in some meal prep. Make this your go-to recipe to keep things simple, keep things easy, and rock your Optavia 5-in-1 plan. Let's get started. Here's what you're going to need. So keep in mind today, we're just gonna be making one portion of my chicken veggie stir fry. In a lot of my previous videos, you guys see me do this in a meal prep fashion, and I get a lot of ingredients in bulk so that I can prep it all together and have it ready to go for the week. But we're gonna be prepping just one serving of this today so that you guys can learn how to make it, and then obviously you can duplicate the recipe as many times as you need if you want to meal prep. But here is what we need for one serving. Clearly we need some chicken for our chicken veggie stir fry. I already had Zach prep some chicken for me today. We bought a a pack of chicken of four from Target. I love Target for all of my ingredients. Just makes it super simple, especially for this recipe. I always know they have what I need. And I already had Zach make the chicken for me. I love it when he just throws it on the grill and I get those nice grill marks. Everything's good to go. And all I have to do is just throw it directly into my stir fry. Totally cooked and perfect to pair with our veggies. We're gonna need six ounces grilled chicken. We're probably gonna get that from one grilled chicken breast, but we'll add a little bit more if we need to. We'll measure it all out. But six ounces of grilled chicken breast to throw in our chicken chicken veggie stir fry. Then for the veggie components of our stir fry, we're gonna need two things. We need some broccoli. So I like to do a cup of broccoli in my chicken veggie stir fry. I like to chop this up and measure out one full cup to count as two greens. And then we're also going to need a bell pepper. So generally I like to get my bell peppers in a tri-colored pack. It comes in a pack of three. I chop them all up, I dice them and I throw them all together. I do half a cup of bell peppers in my chicken veggie stir fry. But like I said, we're just gonna be doing one serving today so we're gonna chop up one bell pepper and half a cup of this will count as our third green for our lean and green meal then to make sure that our chicken stir fry doesn't stick we want to make sure that all of the ingredients come together and marinate really really well we're gonna be spraying our pan with just a little bit of olive oil spray just to make sure that everything gets cooked evenly and nothing sticks and then last but not least this is 
the cherry on top. I absolutely love making my chicken veggie stir fry like this. At the very end of me sauteing the whole thing, I like to add in one tablespoon of low sodium soy sauce. It just makes everything come together. It puts a little bit of a salty bite on all of the ingredients and if you throw it on right at the end, it's still cooking a little bit and it still is able to kind of soak in. Super, super good, gives it kind of like an Asian twist and I love the way that it tastes with soy sauce. There are lots of other things you can add to the stir fry. If you don't like soy sauce, you could do one of the Optavia 5 one approved dressings. You could add in a laughing cow cheese wedge, whatever you want to do, but I love doing soy sauce and one tablespoon of soy sauce is going to count as one condiment for our lean and green meal. So altogether, this lean and green is super, super simple. Like I said, keep it easy, keep it simple, and you are going to be golden for you to rock your Optavia 5 and one plan. This full lean and green recipe is going to count as one leaner for your day, three greens, and one condiment. So keep in mind, you are going to need to add one healthy fat to your day if you're gonna be using this recipe because we chose from the leaner category of the lean and green list, meaning we did six ounces of chicken, and when we choose from that middle category of the leaner category, we need to add one healthy fat. So you guys know a lot of times on my channel I like to do half and half in my coffee in the morning. I like to do three tablespoons of half and half for one healthy fat, so I get my healthy fat normally in, in the beginning of the day in my coffee. But you guys could also add to this recipe maybe like an ounce and a half of avocado if you wanted to add that as your healthy fat. Just make sure you add some sort of a healthy fat somewhere throughout your day so that you have a perfect lean and green meal. That's all we're gonna need, so let's get started. First up, we're gonna go ahead and start prepping our ingredients. So let's start with the veggies. I'm gonna do my bell pepper first. When you buy your broccoli in a bag like this, it's already pretty much chopped up into broccoli florets, and you could just use them just like this. I like to chop them into little bit more bite-sized pieces so it's easier to eat, but you guys can do this based on your preference. chop up our grilled chicken breast into bite-sized pieces as well so we can throw all of this into our chicken veggie stir fry. Perfect, so now that all of our ingredients are prepped, let's go ahead and measure them out to make sure we have everything we need. We're gonna go ahead and do half a cup of bell peppers for one green, one full cup of broccoli for two more greens, and then we need six ounces of our grilled chicken. Here we have it. Here is all of our components for our chicken veggie stir fry. If you were to meal prep these ahead of time, just do this exact same thing, throw it into a meal prep container, and then just repeat the process. We're gonna go ahead and make this today, so let's throw it into our saute pan and throw it all together. My saute pan has already been heated on medium high heat. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my pan with a little bit of my spray olive oil to make sure nothing sticks. Then I'm gonna throw this right in. gonna toss this whole stir fry until it's cooked, probably between five to seven minutes, and then add my soy sauce. Alright, 
right, I've gone ahead and turned down the heat. Now all we need to do is add in our soy sauce. So we're gonna do one tablespoon of soy sauce right at the end, let it cook for just a few seconds, and then we'll plate it. Our chicken veggie stir fry will be good to go. Did I not tell ya? This is the easiest, most simple lean and green you could possibly throw together. This is just chicken and veggies. Grilled chicken, cup of broccoli, half a cup of peppers, how can you go wrong? And then if you add a little bit of soy sauce right on top, so, so good. This is going to be the perfect lean and green meal you can throw together in a pinch, you can meal prep ahead of time, have this in your back pocket because I'm telling ya, this has saved my butt too many times. Don't ever have that moment of not knowing what you're gonna have for your lean and green. Every time you're at the store, just make sure you get broccoli and peppers and chicken and you're good. That's it. Keep it simple and I promise you, you'll be glad you did. Thank you so, so much for watching this video today, you guys. If you guys liked this recipe and you wanna see more lean and green recipes from me, please be sure to comment that down below and let me know if you try this out because I would love to know how you like it. Thank you so, so much for watching this video today, you guys. If you guys like this video, please like the video down below as well as subscribe to my channel and tick that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload because I got new videos coming your way, lots of new healthy recipes coming your way, and I cannot wait to share them with you. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.